The Bogle Effect by Eric Balkunas. Although Bogle was not enthusiastic about the newest investment trend, Vanguard adopted it. Welcome to your book summary.com. ETFs, or exchange traded funds, are a natural evolution of index mutual funds. They offer low fees and the ability to trade throughout the day. Although ETFs were introduced in the 1990s, they did not gain traction until the 2008 global financial crisis, and since then, trillions have been invested in them. The creator of ETFs, Nate Most, sought feedback from Bogle, who inspired their development. However, Bogle was not a fan of one major feature of ETFs intraday trading. To him, the idea of trading all day long in real time seemed ridiculous, especially since if you're buying and holding an index fund, waiting until the end of the day to make a trade shouldn't make a difference. The idea of trading all day long in real time is just anathema to me, Bogle once said in an interview. Despite his initial reservations about ETFs, Bogle's former company, Vanguard, has now become one of the leading issuers of ETFs. While Bogle had warned investors against investing in them, Vanguard saw the potential benefits of offering ETFs in addition to their index mutual funds. One of the advantages of ETFs is their ability to isolate short-term traders and their bad money from the more patient investors in the mutual fund. Additionally, ETFs offer a tax advantage by mostly avoiding taxable capital gains. Today, ETFs make up the majority of Vanguard's business, thanks in part to their ability to offer low fees and the ability to trade throughout the day. I hope you found the information about the Bogle Effect by Eric Balkunas. If you're interested in learning more about the book, stay tuned for the next part of this series where we'll dive into the next section. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.